Thank you all very much for joining me this morning to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the attacks of September 11, 2001. It's an important time to be among friends and colleagues. That day is forever seared into all of our memories, the pain, the terror, the enormous loss, and also the incredible displays of courage. I'd like to start by honoring those who lost their lives on 9-11 and the many who died of 9-11 related illnesses since. Please join me for a moment of silence. Thank you. Nothing can change the profound way the events of September 11th affected us individually, as a department, and as a nation. Nothing we can do or say can replace the loss so many endured on that day. As we have changed as a nation, as a federal government since 9-11, the Justice Department, we mark this anniversary by remembering that we evolved more successfully when we build on our core foundations. We do this by adhering to the values that the Justice Department represents. Chief among them, the rule of law, the pursuit of justice, and the protection of civil rights and civil liberties. The tree we are standing before is a living symbol of our values and our refusal to bend in the face of terrorism. It embodies our nation's spirit of hope and health and strength and resilience in the wake of the attacks. This calorie pear tree is a descendant of a tree at ground zero that became known as the survivor tree after standing through the terror attacks at the World Trade Center. Each year, the National September 11th Memorial and Museum gives seedlings from the survivor tree to three communities that have endured tragedy in recent years. In 2015, the department dedicated the planting of the survivor tree, uh, the seedling from the survivor tree. The following year, Attorney General Loretta Lynch dedicated a commemorative plaque. And today, I am humbled to have the honor of announcing the permanent installation of this plaque. The plaque reminds us that the threats from foreign terrorists like those involved in September 11th is one we must constantly guard against. As I said yesterday, we rededicate ourselves at the Justice Department to doing all we can to protect the American people from terrorist attacks, whether originating from abroad or at home, and in doing so in a way that is consistent with our values and the rule of law. What we must do, what we have done, is to learn from the past to better anticipate and prepare for the next threat and to seek to disrupt it. It is an awesome responsibility, but it is one we undertake together, and in that, it gives us strength. Thank you for all being here.